Assalamu alaikum respected doctors welcome to my youtube channel mbbs and bds lectures today is the fourth video of rapid revision course of removable partial denture prosto dontex in this video we will discuss about types of mandibular major connector there are seven types of mandibular major connector number one is the lingual bar second is the lingual bar uh, a sublingual bar third is the lingual plate fourth is the cingulum bar fifth is the kennedy clasp and sixth is the labial or buccal bar and seventh is the swing lock now first we start from selection of major connectors mean on which basis we select major connector or selection of major connector depend upon which factor now the selection of mandible major connector depend upon following factors Number one, distance between free gingival margin and floor of mouth. Mean distance between floor of the mouth and free gingival margin. Mean margin of the free gingiva. And second is the lingual frenal frenum attachment. Third is the inclination of anterior teeth. Mean either. Uh, inter, uh, anterior teeth are labially inclined or lingually inclined or in normal position. Next is the bony undercuts and tori like mandibular tori which are uh, present mainly in premolar area region. Next is the spacing in teeth and last is the residual ridge quality. Now first distance between free gingival margin and floor of mouth this is very necessary factor in selection of the mandibular major character now how we determine the distance between free gingival margin and floor of mouth there should be at least 8 mm of distance is required between the free gingival margin of anterior teeth and elevated floor of mouth the mean there should be 8 mm of at least 8 mm of distance this is the mcq's point the major connector should be 4 mm away from free gingival margin to maintain its health and the width of a bar is 4 mm at least is required mean the major connector should be 4 mm away from free gingival margin and the width of the bar is again 4 mm 4 mm plus 4 mm is equal to 8 mm. The distance between free gingival margin and floor of the mouth can be checked by measuring the depth with the help of perio probe. First, ask the patient to touch the soft palate with the tongue. This will elevate the floor of the mouth to its functional depth. With the help of perio probe, measure the distance from free gingival margin of central incisor to the depth of the floor of the mouth. Transfer this measurement to the patient model of teeth. Measure the distance on all anterior teeth and transfer it to model. Now join the line on model and measure the distance on model. Look at this diagram. Uh, by help of perio probe, we determine the distance between free gingival margin and elevated floor of the mouth. Now, first we start from uh, first mandibular major connector, which is the lingual bar this is the picture of lingual bar now lingual bar it is located above the floor of mouth but below the gingival margin at least 4 mm in contact with the mucosa of the lingual side of the interior part of the mandible it is most suitable connector it is used where sufficient space more than 8 mm is available between the gingival margin and floor of the mouth. It is half ear shape. Uh, for example, flat and tissue side taper superiorly, bulkest at inferior third. Its upper border is 4 mm, mm away from gingival margin. This is a lingual bar. Uh, here uh, on the uh, lips, uh, in the right side there is a lingual bar and model and lip side here is a tooth in uh, red yellow color and uh, below there is a gingiva and uh, uh, on the uh, apical root region in 
uh, in the uh, gingiva between uh, gingiva and flora of the mouth in blue uh, ear drop like structure there is a uh, position for lingual bar now what are the indications of lingual bar 8 mm distance between floor of mouth and free gingival margin if there is a 8 mm or more than 8 mm distance present between floor of mouth and free gingival margin we will give lingual bar this is the first indication second indication normal alignment of teeth if teeth are present in normal alignment not in labial lib inclination or in lingual inclination again we give labial bar uh, sorry lingual bar next is the non bony undercut if there is no bony undercut again we will give lingual bar next is the good abutments if there are good abutments teeth are present for support again we will give uh, lingual bar next is the good ridges if there is good residual alveolar ridges again we give lingual bar now come to the sublingual bar what is the distance between lingual bar uh, what is the difference between lingual bar and sublingual bar actually there is a position in lingual bar uh, the lingual bar are more uh, in in superior position but in sublingual bar uh, the uh, lingual bar is below uh, than lingual bar toward the flo floor of the mouth why Uh, because sublingual bar are given in condition where there is a less uh, mean uh, space uh, uh, space between free gingival margin and floor of the mouth if less than 8 mm then we give sublingual bar if more than 8 mm or 8 mm we give lingual bar now sublingual bar it is indicated we are less space available for lingual bar and all other factor are good is required for lingual bar mean like uh, good apartment normal alignment all requirement uh, are uh, available for lingual bar but distance is less than 8 mm we will give sub lingual bar it is placed over and parallel to the floor of the mouth there is a space between lingual side of anterior mandible and sub lingual bar there is a space between lingual side of anterior mandible and sub lingual bar means sub lingual bar are below Uh, the position of sublingual bar is below than lingual bar in, in uh, floor of the mouth look at uh, in, in this diagram on the right side there is a lingual bar the blue eye drop uh, shape present the position of lingual bar and in sublingual bar the blue eye drop shape uh, is present then uh, uh, in position below than lingual bar next is the third is the continuous class or cingulum bar its name indicate cingulum bar mean this mandibular major connector are present on the cingulum of teeth and lingual surface look at in the uh, diagram on the right side there is a mandibular major connector uh, which present on the uh, cingulum of interior teeth there are known as cingulum bar look at lingual bar is below in position but uh, cingulum bar is present on the sing cover the cingulum of the interior teeth look at uh, on the left side the blue uh, eye drop shape uh, present on the cingulum of the teeth here the blue eye drop shape present in the mucosa here on the cingulum of the this is the known as cingulum bar are also known as continuous clasp it is located in middle third of the anterior teeth in middle third of anterior teeth anterior teeth there is incisal third cervical third and middle third it is present in the middle third of the anterior now it is located in mid middle third of anterior teeth just above the cingula a uh, cingula of the teeth it is also called can continuous clasp or cingulum bar it is thin narrow 3 mm metal strip 3 mm thin metal strip located on or slightly above the cingula of anterior teeth its upper border is scalloped what is means scalloped mean irregular its superior and inferior border tapered to tooth surface 
इट शुड बी सपोर्टेड ऑन बोथ इंड बाई मीन ऑफ रेस्ट ऑन प्रिंसिपल अपेटमेंट मीन अक्लूजल आर इंसाइजल रेस्ट इट इज कंट्रा इंडिकेटेड वेयर इंटीरियर टीथ आर सीवियरली टिल्टेड टूअर्ड लिंगुअल आर लिबियल इट इज कंट्रा इंडिकेटेड वेयर इंटीरियर टीथ आर सीवियरली टिल्टेड टूअर्ड लिंगुअल मीन लिंगुअल साइड आर लिबियल साइड नाउ कम टू द इंडिकेशंस फर्स्ट इंडिकेशन इज अलाइनमेंट ऑफ इंटीरियर टीथ रिक्वायर एक्सेसिव ब्लॉक आउट अलाइनमेंट ऑफ इंटीरियर टीथ रिक्वायर्ड एक्सेसिव ब्लॉक आउट मीन टू रिमूव द अंडर कट एक्सेसिव ब्लॉक आउट सिंगुलम बार आर इंडिकेटेड बिकॉज इट विल बी इट्स पोजिशन ऑन द सिंगुलम नॉट बिलो द सिंगुलम एरिया वी आर एक्सेसिव ब्लॉक आउट इज रिक्वायर्ड नेक्स्ट इज इंटीरियर diastema if interior diastema is present again it is indicated next is the high lingual frenal attachment if there is a high lingual frenal attachment we cannot give sing, uh, lingual bar again we give bar singulum bar next is the lingual undercuts if there is a lingual undercut again we give bar uh, we go for singulum bar next is the good abutments and good ridges if good abutments and good ridges present because on both side it should be supported on both side by help of principal abutment uh, means of rest and principal abutment therefore good abutments and good ridges are necessary now come to the next is the kennedy clasp and kennedy clasp is a combination of lingual bar and uh, singulum bar mean lingual bar plus singulum bar combination is known as kennedy clasp this is the above there is a singulum bar below there is a lingual bar its combination is known as kennedy clasp look at on the uh, in the right side there is a above anti singulum there is a uh, singulum bar and below there is a lingual bar on the floor of the mouth and uh, uh, look at on the left side and above singulum there is a uh, oil drop shape there is a uh, singulum bar and below here in mucosa there is a uh, lingual bar now it is a combination of singulum bar and teeth and small lingual bar due to less space for a proper lingual bar it has better quality of stress distribution and rigidity than continuous bar mean because it is a combination because it is a combination of lingual bar and continuous bar therefore its properties are superior than continuous bar now come to the indications number 1 alignment of interior teeth required excessive block out again if interior teeth require excessive block out for alignment again we give for this combination next is interior diastema third is the low lingual frenal attachment if there is a high attachment we cannot give lingual bar we will go for uh, singulum bar now come to the linguo plate mean here is a plate which uh, thickness is uh, which width is more than 8 mm now linguo plate look at uh, here linguo plate cover the singulum area and also below the and also uh, below the singulum area toward the floor of the mouth linguo plate it cover the lingual surface of both anterior teeth and alveolar process the upper border of this plate should not be extend above the middle third of the anterior teeth above the middle third of the anterior teeth linguo plate is a result of filling in rectangular space between lingual bar and singulum bar its inferior border should be half pear shape and bulkest its superior border should be at singulum of teeth at and at contact point of teeth its superior border should be scalloped scalloped mean irregular now come to the indication of lingo plate if there is a little space between free gingival margin and floor of the mouth we will give a, we will go for lingo plate next is a high lingual frenal attachment again we go for lingo plate next is a class 1 with resorb residual ridge if there is a class 1 condition with a resorb residual 
rich. Again, we go for lingual plate. Next is the splinting appendage is required due to perio problem. Remember, this lingual plate are come in uh, our March NLE exam uh, when I was appear in this exam. This lingual plate MCQs was present, and uh, there is a scenario. Uh, scenario uh, in scenario. Uh, 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 it's clearly uh, mentioned that uh, uh, when patient uh, come in perio uh, lab or ward uh, have uh, a perio problem and uh, uh, which type of pendular uh, major connector are indicated in this type of patient this is the lingo plate now splinting of is required due to perio problem if due to perio problem Splinting of anterior teeth are required. Again, we go for lingual plate. Next is the future replacement of anterior teeth is indicated. In lingual plate, if in future we want to replace teeth in uh, patient mouth, again we will go for uh, lingual plate because in lingual plate we can replace uh, teeth. This is the lingual plate. The main two uh, indications are number one in uh, per splinting up anterior teeth uh, due to um, periodontic problem and next is future replacement of anterior teeth is indicated we will go per lingual plate next is the interrupted lingual plate same lingual plate but it is a interrupted not continuous it is modified form of lingual plate it is indicated where spacing exists in anterior teeth or wide diastema present create anesthetic appearance by show of metal between teeth we will if uh, uh, there is a uh, spacing exists between anterior teeth or wide diastema, uh, uh, this will create anesthetic appearance, mean metal will be show. We will go for interrupted lingual plate. In interrupted lingual plate, we remove the, uh, in right side there is a lingual plate and left side is an interrupted lingual plate. In interrupted lingual plate, in between teeth where spaces are present, we remove the metal part there part there will be no anesthetic appearance wide estima between incisor prevent the use of any major connector except sublingual bar which cannot be given due to other reason now come to the uh, labial or buccal bar this is given on the labial or buccal surface now it is given on the labial side rather than on lingual side. Its characteristics are half pear shape with bulkous portion of inferior, inferiorly located, a superior border tapered to tissue, a superior border located at least 4 mm away to labial uh, gingival margin. A lower margin is located at the junction of attached and, attach and unattached mucosa. What are the indications? Number one. If there is a lingual inclination of incisor or premolar, if incisors and premolar are lingually inclined, we cannot give any type of lingual mandibular major connector, then we will go for labial or buccal bar. Next is the tori. If there is a mandibular tori which present on um, premolar area, again we go for labial or buccal bar. Next is the lingual undercuts. If there is a lingual undercuts, Again, we go for labial or buccal bar. Now come to the last swing lock design. What is swing lock design? It is an unconventional design with limited use. It, its characteristics are hinge continuous labial bar. Here is a hinge joint. Labial bar is connected with a hinge at one end and a latch on the other end like key and hole. Labial bar is connected by hinge at one end, at latch on other end. Their part this is known as swing lock because due to hinge and latch it becomes lock. Multiple rest on remaining natural teeth per support. Bar uh, here we give multiple rest on remaining natural teeth per support. Bar type retentive clasp arm projecting from bar connecting the inferior bulge area per retention. Here we give a retentive class R. What are the indications and contraindications? Indications number one, missing key abutment teeth is premolar and canines. 
If uh, premolar and canines are missing, uh, like here in this picture below, the premolar and canine are missing, only central and lateral is as represent, we will go for swing lock design because we have no premolar and canine as an abutment. Next is the unfavorable tooth contour. If there is an unfavorable tooth contour, mean tilted tooth, there is a high undercut, we will go for swing lock design. Next is the unfavorable soft tissue contours again. Next is the teeth with questionable prognosis. If there is a teeth with questionable prognosis, we will go for swing lock design. What are the contraindications? This contraindication will be same for labial and buccal bar also. Number one is the poor oral hygiene. Number two, lack of motivation for, uh, for plaque control. Next is the shallow labial or buccal vestibule and high labial frenal attachment. Mean if there is a poor oral hygiene, they, this will be contraindicated. Next is the lack of motivation for plaque control. If a patient is not motivated to uh, uh, for uh, maintaining its oral hygiene to control the plaque, again this is, will be contraindicated. Next is shallow labial or buccal vestibule. If there is a shallow vestibule, there will be, uh, due to, um, because if there is a shallow uh, vestibule, then uh, the swing lock design will be contraindicated. Why? Because it will be a bulkest in that region, patient will bulky and next there will be uh, anesthetic appearance and there will be no retention. Next is the uh, high labial frenal attachment, same. If there is a high frenal attachment, again there will be shallow labial or buccal vestibule due to high labial frenal attachment. This is all about uh, mandibular major connector. Now today our topic is and if you um, like my video press the like button and share this video with your friends. If you are new to my channel subscribe my channel by pressing the red subscribe button and also press the bell icon in order to receive my each new video notification. For watching my videos I am very thankful to you. Thank you very much.